once brought in a specialist crane and rigging crew. They have to lift six of these along the length of this terminal wing. They have just one day, and Claude's anxious to get going. We're going to set that crane up right up in there. Okay. You back your trucks up right into that area, right next to it. Okay? okay. So you'll be able to go straight back in there. Let's we'll set the crane up. We're done. Okay. It's my gun's big day, too. The Port Authority inspectors arrive in 40 minutes. His team have worked through the night, and Mike's feeling okay. confident. We've got it down to three lights that aren't working properly yet. So uh, once we got those, which should, should be done by lunchtime, we're, uh, we should pass all the inspections. 8 a.m. The inspectors are keen to get going. In fact, are we going to start? Uh... Yes. They check out the control room, and the inspector heads straight for the fire alarm system. He spotted a problem. The alarm is wrongly tagged. So I was told that it was done, and it's not. And I was ne negligent in double-checking it as well. I took their word for it. I can't take their word for anything. <laughs> Not exactly a perfect start. And now the inspectors noticed a defect in the emergency lighting. No, we have not done one that's not done. Okay. I mean, we have <clears throat> one above every door by this door. Okay, if you want to look. It could be a long day for Mike. Right. See that? <clears throat> Out on the site, the action's slow. But finally, the first unit is driven into position to be rigged for lifting. Fred's looking worried. He's already behind schedule, and he has six of these to lift today. The unit is finally secured, but now there's another holdup. Coffee break. We're waiting for the workers to finish the coffee break, and uh, we will proceed with the pick. Half hour, 20 minutes. Fred just has to be patient. You don't cancel a coffee break in New York. You ready for this? With the coffee over, it's on with the lift. It's a tense moment. This big grey box is a sophisticated high-spec piece of hardware costing a cool $800,000. Fred's relieved to see the lift going smoothly. Up on the roof, the specialist riggers are poised to lower the unit into position. All right, you're clear. The unit is gently maneuvered down onto the curb. It looks perfect. Five more to go, but Fred reckons he's back on track. It should go a lot faster from here on in. Now everybody knows the routine, and the second half of the unit is soon ready to be lowered into place. It needs to rest on the curb, where it will be joined up with its twin to make one complete air handling unit. It should be a straightforward fit, but the riggers are confused. They need to lower the massive box so that both halves of the unit join up. The problem is that if they do, they won't be able to release the rigging cables. They should have planned a little further. A little more advanced planning. Somebody's got an inside wall. Make a decision here what I'm doing, because you know, we'll be here till midnight if we don't make a decision. So. Someone had better come up with a solution fast. They've got six of these to set up by the end of the day. This, this crane, I think it's a 250-ton crane. Um, probably, probably pretty expensive to bring back tomorrow. For the rigging crew, it's a case of close, but no cigar. We're all set. These and are then all set. All the way down the other end. Back at the temporary terminal, the inspection is still dragging on. They keep looking at more and more stuff, and we haven't finished yet. Most people use a belt to keep up their trousers. These guys use a belt suspenders and Velcro to keep them up. Mike's day is not going to plan. Hopes of meeting the summer schedule are beginning to fade.
JetBlue's plans for expansion have hit the wall. They need a safety certificate to open their temporary terminal, but it's not looking good. And the expensive air handling units for their new terminal building don't fit together. The units have all been lifted, but there's a gap separating the two halves. Now, they have a plan. If they can jack up one of the units, they hope to squeeze it into place with a ratchet. Jacking up 8,000 kilos of machinery is not going to be easy. Two units fit snugly together. No big deal. We got uh, 30 plus more to put up over the next couple months. Uh, we'll get it done. It's a huge breakthrough for Claude Whitehack. He can now start on the interior of the building. If all goes to plan by autumn 2008, passengers will be passing through this flight wing to destinations all over the USA. Teams have been working round the clock to get this temporary terminal ready for the deadline. The inspection got off to a bad start, but now things are looking up. We managed to convince the Port Authority that uh, we'd complied with all the code requirements that needed to be complied with. They've got the go-ahead and can bring in the first plane. This is kind of, you know, we're at the end, we've finished our inspections and, and, and really for the, for the people that worked on this, this is a, an important milestone. It's a tense moment as the plane eases into position next to the jet bridge. Now we're going to make sure that theory and practice are the same thing. A perfect fit. Rich Smythe is delighted to welcome the first arrivals, even if they are JetBlue ground crew. Thank you. Good job. It works, and we're excited to be teamed with JetBlue, so I think everything's going to be very good. Business is good. Within 24 hours, the temporary terminal is in full swing. Mike and his team have made the deadline, and JetBlue's summer schedule is running smoothly. But they can only allow themselves the briefest of celebrations. The push is to get the main terminal finished for autumn 2008. The first family that comes in and gets on the flight that goes out, it's, it, it, it's a great feeling. Well, it's a lot of fun, like I said. You've got a lot of guys on the job, a lot of fun. There's nothing like taking your family over and seeing a legacy. Right? Everything that we do is somewhat of a legacy. When it's finished, the new Terminal 5 will combine the style and grace of the golden age of flight with the very latest innovations in passenger and aircraft handling. It will provide a spectacular new gateway to one of the world's most important airports, JFK, New York. Up next, a fossil find that has shocked the world. Now, new theories emerge as men of science try to understand and explain the four-winged dinosaur. Next, 